I don't approve of your smoking, but I guess one more won't hurt you now. Welcome back to a slightly new look dark corner of this sick world. It won't go on much longer. The lockdown has caught up with us. We've run out of the reviews we shot beforehand, but don't worry. The picture quality may be slightly down, but the quality of the reviews remains the same. So, <laughs> welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Hey, beat it, you guys. Old horse faces on the warpath. Seems unnecessary. 1957's Blood of Dracula might as well have been called I Was a Teenage Dracula. It's part of that same cycle of films and it's very much the same theme in its blending of teenage angst with B-movie horror. I like the cheery atmosphere. Nancy has been sent to a boarding school by her father and wicked stepmother. I'm certainly glad, Paul, that we're getting rid of her. And her new roommates aren't much better. Nancy doesn't fit in, which is bad news. You'll have to join our secret organization, Birds of Paradise. Essentially, the Birds of Paradise is an escort service with the slight problem that Gardner Eddie is the only male on the premises. The property of Birds of Paradise. We take turns dating him. They said gardening school was a waste of time. Well, who's laughing now? Listen, Lunkhead, you're not the dream boy you think. Don't have to be. I'm the only game in town. But Nancy, who has a boyfriend back home, still isn't interested. Well, that just leaves more water in the jug for the rest of us. Well, there's an image I'm going to be scrubbing out of my mind for days to come. One swallow to each girl. And is presumably why Eddie brings in reinforcements. Now remember you guys, this is no panty raid. You gotta help me guys, the jug is empty. But before this, we meet science teacher Miss Branding. We live in a world ruled by men for men. And I do think there's something interesting in a woman who's been pushed out of the scientific community because of her gender. Isotopes and fallout in our lungs and our glands, distorting natural shape and proportion. She recognises that the predominantly male scientific community's obsession with nuclear energy is dangerous. There is another way. I can release a destructive power in a human being that would make the split atom seem like a blessing. Okay, I didn't necessarily mean another way to kill everyone. Nations will stop looking for new artificial weapons because the natural ones, we, the human race, will be too terrible to arouse. So you can save the world from the nuclear threat by replacing it with something even more epically horrifying. That is good B-movie science. For my experiment, I must find a special kind of girl with special potentials. Gee, I wonder where this is going. Someone wait till you meet our new girl, Nancy Perkins. Miss Branding hypnotizes Nancy using an antique amulet. Also, it can release frightening powers. Now stay still while I use it on you. Your eyes are getting drowsy. It's after this that Eddie and his mates crash the girls' party, which, to be fair, did need help. <laughs> Miss Branding activates Nancy. And now the real horror begins. Hey, Tab, how about singing Puppy Love for the girls? Hollywood's embarrassing attempt to get down with its youth audience. Well, then she gave me that crazy look, and before I knew it, I was really shook. Hard to believe anyone thought rock and roll was a threat. Anyway, Nancy is just a bit spacey. Nothing, I... Just feel a little dizzy, that's all. It's the excitement of the party. <laughs> yeah, that must be it. But after everyone has gone... <laughs> and when the police examine the body... As if the blood had been drained completely. Sidebar, a film in which kids are killed always has a problem to deal with. What about the girl's parents? You don't want to drag down the tone, so... How do you deal with the grieving parents in a way that seems natural? They're circus performers in Europe on a tour. Yeah, I think we've covered that. The girls try to get back to normal life. Early today I buried six objects in the old cemetery. Via a scavenger hunt in a cemetery. This is the first US film in which a vampire has fangs. 
so, you know, it's got that going for it. But little else. You may have noticed, for all her scientific talk, Miss Branding only uses the amulet. There's no science. And for all her apocalyptic predictions... When I can demonstrate that there's a power strong enough to destroy the world buried within each of us... I'm unconvinced that one vampire is more dangerous than nuclear holocaust. The film stumbles to a lazy conclusion as Nancy confronts Miss Branding, who does the only sensible thing. Turning Nancy into the vampire. How could I have predicted this? <laughs> Nancy herself dies by falling on a broken table, and the headmistress does a bit of B-movie moralising. There is a power greater than science that rules the earth, and those who twist and pervert knowledge for evil only work out their own destruction. Although, to be honest, I think the main message of this film is that women dabbling in science is basically witchcraft. Okay, make fun of it if you like. Thanks for watching. To see more vampire movie reviews, click here. Cinema is full of unofficial series like the teenage films. What films do you group together as a franchise even though they're not really part of one? Let us know in the comments below.